Hi, YouTube and my lovely subscribers. I want to say good morning and let you know that I have taken a little break from my videos because life has been busy, but I'm back on track. So today I'm just coming at you with a really brief uh, snippet from God's Word, like a verse of the day, and um, we'll see how that goes. I wish you could, could converse with me through YouTube. I wish I could get some feedback um, verbally, but unfortunately that's not possible. So definitely leave your uh, comments, um, questions, or requests down below, and I will make sure to get back to you. I'm very good at that. So I have a verse of the day. It's Ephesians 4, 18 through 19. And I have it posted right there on my computer screen so that I don't take my eyes off you. They may be going up there to the corner for a brief moment, but I didn't want to have my head down reading from my Bible. My Bible is over there. So just so you know, I, I do have my the Word of God right there to my right. So let's go ahead and open your Bibles to Ephesians 4, 18 through 19. I'll read the verse, we'll dissect it briefly, and you can be on with your day. So, it says, Ephesians 4, 18 through 19, They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of their ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. We've all been there. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to the sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity, and they are full of greed. Do you feel like this? Do you feel desensitized? Do you feel confused, unsettled, have just like a spirit of, of anxiety, depression, just feeling like it's things, something's not right inside? Could it be that you have turned your back, that you have hardened your heart? This isn't for just non-Christians. This is for Christians, people that that God instructs us to, to draw from him, to, he's the... He's the vine, we're the branches. We are supposed to soak into him every day. Have you stopped reading your Bible? Have you stopped maybe taking a little break from church? Stop maybe listening to some Christian radio. Things that can uplift you, build you, build your maturity in Christ, help you get to know him better and stay within his peace. Because when you are there, you are at peace, even when chaos is going on. So if this is you, if this verse is hitting you, it could be that you have turned your back on God. We all do it. It's, it's, I don't want to say it's difficult to follow Christ because in the Bible, it says my yoke is easy, my burden is light. And that is true. With Christ, you can do all things. But the devil likes to throw in um, temptation and distractions that keep us from him because he likes us to feel unsettled and depressed and confused. Remember, God is not a God of confusion, but a God of peace. So where God is, there is peace, even, um, even among the, the chaos that, that, that is going on. So don't throw in the towel and, and become distracted. Don't harden your heart. Don't, don't fall away from God so that it is easier for your heart to be hardened and to become in a state of, of anxiety. Uh, put off your old self and renew your attitude and choices. Get back in the Word. Just a verse a day. Watch these devotions one a day. And, you know, just to help you get started, read one psalm a day, one proverb a day, just something to help you get back on track. Find a church that um, is uplifting, that they, they, they preach the word of God. Do what you can to get back into the vine, into, into Christ and what he can provide for you. When you're away from him, you, you are dead. You are you're cut off, not from him. He is always there for you, but you, your heart becomes desensitized, just as the verse was saying. So stay with Christ. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. He will be with you. He will protect you. He will guide you and peace will come. Don't, don't become desensitized to his leading and you enjoy your day today, and thanks again for subscribing, and stay tuned for more videos. Talk to you later. Bye.